with the interview. Uh, joining us now, it's Cameraman, of course. Uh, cameraman, thanks for taking the time. <laughs> Good to have you along. We were just talking about how uh, th what this win means for the team. Obviously, you'd be happy to get a win on the board. What are you taking away from this match? Um, I don't know what happened against Furia. We faced them the last time in Six Invitational. Um, we played Villa against them. Uh, we got the W, but it was a really bad game for both parts. And this this game, I I think the same way. Like um, we had some good chances. Two five v three, we lost in the attack. Um, although we 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 got the defense were, were was really good for for our side. Um, but overall, I, I don't think it was a. a good match for both sides i think they had some mistakes we have we had some mistakes and that kind of cost the game for them but yeah like my team is amazing i don't know they just clicked heads i was not in a good day today individually speaking but my team was insane Cameraman, I'm really curious to ask you about um, the way that FaZe kind of been attacking onto the, the gym bedroom site um, lately. How you really prioritize going in through the external construction wall, taking control of construction. You have Bullet coming in through the garage on his own. Uh, and then you really also prioritize taking control of logistics. However, in the three attacks that you did onto this site, you guys kind of changed the approach a bit where in the first round, in round number one, um, you sort of did did the, the, the basic idea of what this attack would be and you did it really well and you won the site. However, if you look at round number six, it felt like there was a lot more pressure from FaZe coming in through the jacuzzi side and actually from the west side of the map rather than having everybody evenly split out. What was the thought process behind this and, and why did you change your mind on how the attack was going? Um, I was, I knew that they knew that I was going to dirt tunnel and I tried to bait them and uh, buck the the dirt the dirt tunnel and break the 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 main stairs window and so they can see that I I bucked the dirt tunnel you know but I I was not gonna go inside the tunnel but Rare was already he knew that I was gonna do this and he came outside the the dirt tunnel and picked me. So we started a four of a v five situation like really early. So that, I think that's the main point. Like we ha we play clubhouse. We have some uh, philosophy that it's we it's one of like there's not too many maps that you can do what you can do in clubhouse that you can stay the five alive and execute at the same time five alive like in the because the bomb sites are really close to the external part. So that's kind of easy to to the attack. So it was unfortunate for us that Rare picked me in the in dirt tunnel. So we started with four and we didn't know how to, to work um, with that disadvantage, let's say. Well, cameraman, thanks for the insight and thanks for joining us, mate. A, uh, a, a good end to the uh, the day and the, and the weekend. We're looking forward to seeing you in the Latin League final. Thanks for joining us today, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.